How's it going everybody? I wanted to show y'all some of the issues I've been having with my Make Sky Blue hybrid charge controller. So first off, I was told by the seller that this unit would be able to have programmable battery, you know, charge and discharge points. But so if we come into the settings menu, we can see I've currently got it set to user. And the only options are, here we can go down, oh, well, down the loops around. So we've got flooded lead acid, AGM for gel cell, and that's it this way. If we go all the way up, we get back to user. And so you'd think user would let you set your own voltages, but it doesn't. Go ahead and accept that and go through the rest of the menu here. And this is your set voltage point for the switchover, is my understanding. And the manual is in pretty broken English, but I, I was hopeful that this would be my you know, minimum charge voltage and maximum charge voltage per cell, but it was set up for a lead acid, so I'd just have to times them by six and I'd be good to go. I could make it work with my lithium iron phosphate. Um, but this is not the case. I've run the inverter with a load, done the math, you know, 2.08 times 6 is going to come out somewhere around 12, so when you run the inverter and the voltage drops below 12 to for a significant amount of time, you'd expect it to change, um, to switch over or do something like that. And so I can go ahead and show y'all real fast. This, I have a heat gun here off camera, and if I hook it up, and turn on the inverter. You'll, you'll see the output click on in a second here. It takes quite a while on this unit. There we go, now you can see the diagram showing that we're powering the load and we can go ahead and go up to the output kilowatts. So if I put it on setting one, you can hear it come on here. Right, we're drawing 700 watts. Battery voltage, 11 volts with our low voltage cutoff that we should have just set, it's not turning off and we can run this for a while uh, and it'll stay on. I don't want to heat up my house too much so I'm going to go ahead and turn it back off. You can hear the fans kick on and so you've seen with some of the other inverters I've seen that you have to cycle them so I'll go ahead and show you all that cycling it doesn't give you the new option so I'll go ahead and disconnect the battery real fast You can see the unit powered off. Power it back on. We go through the programs. And you'll see we're still on user, but these, these voltage settings don't actually get us anything. Um, this is one of the charge currents. You know, basically these settings don't seem to correspond to, to any actual changes for the most part. Um, and then the other thing, the other problem I've been having with it is that my shore power uh, doesn't charge the battery, which the seller actually removed from the ad, but it used to be, you know, it used to be uh, listed at the time I bought this. So if we go up to the battery voltage, you can see it's reading 13 volts. And if I go ahead and plug it in off camera, you'll see the shore power diagram come up and then you'll see a split second later that the charging indicator comes up but the battery voltage sits right where it is and never changes and I've confirmed it with a multimeter that there is no current flowing to the device. Um, yeah so basically maybe if you have a straight lead acid system or a flooded or a gel cell system this would work for you and if you if you trusted those internal you know, mystery battery charge and discharge voltages. But for me, this doesn't work, so I'm going to be sending it back. All right, and with that, thank you very much for watching, and be sure to give the video a thumbs up if it was helpful for you. And uh, click subscribe, because I'll be putting some more videos out here shortly on other solar and van life topics.